Oh hey, uh, so I'm recording a video today to discuss what I feel like is an extremely powerful and very overlooked transfigure gem, uh, which I understand. Power class, Mines of Sabotage is definitely not sexy, but it is extremely powerful. Uh, as you can see here for the gem, if you get that maximum ore effect, which you get by throwing either enough mines or having enough ore effect uh, on your character, you will reach that 1560 flat fire damage to enemies near it. and just to stress how ridiculous that amount of flat is, that is about equivalent to 12 level 20 angers for flat fire damage. Um, and that amount of flat fire damage right there gets doubled about every seven levels. So if you put it in a uh, something like March of the Legion with an Empower, uh, a plus four corruption pair of like, well, I guess really, really anything, and an Empower, it'll, it'll be about uh, 3000 flat fire. And if you do something ridiculous, like put it in a Pragmatism, it will be even more than that because it'll be plus 10 levels. So originally when I was uh, trying to make a build to one-shot Ubers, I was thinking I would do uh, Blade Trap because it has about a thousand effectiveness about a damage because it can hit up to 10 times. Um, you get to use a weapon like Paradoxica, which is double damage. So then using a ton of flat, which Pyre Class of Mines of Sabotage solves. Um, that build was, uh, well, this build in the video right here was uh, around level 85 with uh, extremely minimal gear because I was like, oh, this this is enough damage. I, I have, uh, you know, the requisite uh, amount to kill them. However, the delay on blade traps is pretty bad if you don't want your character to go to standard. And more than that, though, in PUB, you need to have your average burst hits to be 400 million with pinnacles selected because that first few seconds of the fight they have a i think 90 percent damage reduction so with throwing 24 traps uh to one shot pinnacles you need to have a minimum of uh, 17 million average hit per trap which i definitely did not have and led to my demise yeah, so I, I know it's a little boring but i did end up going with the uh, zhp ice trap assassin something pretty similar to what uh, Jungle Rhino was doing in a previous HC trade league uh, to one-shot Ubers. Uh, with some pretty big deviations, I'm getting almost all of my flat from uh, Pyroclast, as I've been harping on in this video. Uh, this is a little inflated because of fire pen and things like that, but this is about 15 times more damage in my current setup. And then getting that absurd amount because I have it socketed in a unique from this league, Pragmatism. So I'm getting plus 10 levels to Pyro Class Mines of Sabotage, which ends up being between 3,000 and 4,000 flat fire. Um, and this combination of mechanics was so much damage, I figured that if I did it on a Sab, I would only need to throw 10 mines, which would free up 10 additional mines, which means, uh, you know, that's 10 mines that I might as well throw, which could be Storm Blast Mines, which ends up being 120% more damage. And yeah, this is like a million buttons and annoying as, as heck to do on uh, Ubers, but if the intent is to one-shot them, I was able to do this on a 5-link with pretty garbage gear. And uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty cool, I thought. Yeah, so I'm just going to go over the POV pretty quickly. Um, while this is not a build guide, uh, I did think there was some interesting stuff in here to, that I kind of want to discuss. Uh, Oh, and just, just a heads up, uh, someone in the comments, please let me know if the POB quality is still bad. I'm still messing with an OBS. I thought I got it finally working the last time I did a video, and then now it looks bad again. So <laughs> somebody just, uh, you know, please uh, keep me honest or tell me if it looks good, bad, whatever. Uh, anyways, this build initially started off the template that uh, Jungrown was using in a previous league, which is just uh, <laughs> how I even have the string of servitude. But, um, you know, this is going to be pretty stock this league, I would think. Uh, badge, Rallakesh, and then Annihilating Light, and then gloves for the trap throw speed, so we can actually get all our traps off, especially now that we have included mines into the setup as well. Um, with the only big deviation, like I mentioned, being this Pragmatism, which, as I already showcased, it's about 15% more damage, or 15%, uh, 15 times more damage on this setup. Um, also using Stormblast Mine, which thinks, that, yeah, around 112% more damage. Um, so the only real difference is, is I'm taking these mine clusters here for the ore effect and then this mine duration cluster here so that the mines last about nine and a half seconds instead of um, 
uh, like the five seconds. So it makes it a little bit easier to actually get everything set up. If you don't take this, you probably honestly have to use, um, uh, man, I'm totally spacing on the name of this belt, uh, Sunblast, so that you could get all your mines out. Uh, the reason I'm not using it, like I mentioned, I think earlier, was that uh, I'm a little worried about giving the boss more time to hit me. I want the mines to, uh, the traps to exist, the frame uh, that the boss exists, the traps all go off and kill them, as opposed to maybe being out there a second while I have to dodge. Um, Graven Secret also would be more damage than the strings, but uh, it messed up my Righteous Fire because it gives me too much life, so it makes it harder to recover that. Um, you don't need to do this pragmatism goofy thing that I'm doing. It just, for the budget of a one socket, this unique item is crazy amounts of damage. As, as you can see, it's uh, about 60% more there. Um, you could do something like uh, uh, just, just plus, two, uh, plus four double corrupted gloves, helmet, boots with uh, plus two to proj gems, plus two to trapper mines, plus two to auras, plus two to duration. That, actually, I don't think duration works. But anyways, <laughs> there's, there's a lot of double corruptions you could get. Uh, in fact, I was really jealous because so uh, Alkaiser has a double corrupted Rallakeshes with uh, uh, pr projectile gems and uh, aura gems that I was debating on cold messaging him about if he would trade them for <laughs> a generic plus two aura uh, Rallakesh boots because they would, I don't know, they would be awesome and you wouldn't need to use something like crappy gloves. I'd just get it on like one of these uniques, either the Rallakesh's or the Architect's hands. But right now, pragmatism, because uh, it's very cheap and it does the job. Um, and then the Ascendancy, 130% more there because of how hard we're scaling uh, the Pyre class. Uh, just kind of all the damage. Uh, because, you know, we're trying to one-shot Ubers and getting a ton of mileage out of Sab because of that. Uh, so this note alone, crazy. Um, yeah, but I kind of just wanted to showcase to like how mediocre this gear is. Uh, it's like one notable on this passive, uh, the crit multi uh, notable here, and then any other notable that exists is what I was picking up. Um, I do have one double crit multi jewel, and then I have a single crit multi down here. But yeah, outside of that, uh, pretty simple stuff, like really crappy helmet, uh, rings with stats to fix my issues, like example, efficient training <laughs> down here to fix my strength, et cetera. Um, I do a balance of terror here that I keep forgetting to use. Uh, the setup I should be doing is uh, flammability curse ground is like the last action before the boss comes out so that I do inflict exposure. You get this on like a large fire cluster or I'm sure other plenty of other places as opposed to this. That might make it a little bit easier, but again, just going for absolute budget. Um, and then since I did make this build from, like I'm test, I was testing this in standard after I ripped my sab, so I didn't rip another character. I like had it set up properly this time. Um, I was not using uh, charms, which you, get a, you could get a lot of damage out of charms on a build like this. You could get covered in ash. Uh, crit chance if you haven't crit recently, your mines or, or your traps, so you've never crit recently. And then you could get uh, additional ore effect to finish that last amount we're missing off. And I'm sure other things I'm missing here. Um, I did have a assassin version of this that is also very good. It's one less button, but it is a lot less damage. It should still be uber capped, uh, if I believe. I mean, I did one shot. Oh god, it's like just just over. Um, yeah, because it's 24 uh, traps and you need to be a 400 million burst. So it's uh, 17 per and I'm about 18 per. So that is uh, pretty close. Probably need a little bit more damage in this possibly. Um, but yeah, that is, I think, mostly it for the POB. It's kind of unfortunate how much time I, I realized I spent talking about... Uh, uber one-shotting builds with pirate class mines of sabotage because uh, that wasn't really the intent of this video i kind of want to talk about uh places where it actually makes sense to use that skill gem and it just happened i had so much experience uh working with those kind of builds over the past uh two two to three days that that's what i'm talking about so much but ideally uh you can use it in any build that is duration based like for example think something like uh, unleash with the uh, cremation of the volcano firestorm and pelting uh a brand in general like penance brand dissipation uh various minion builds i 
do not play minion, so I have no idea if that makes sense. It probably does, because I see people add a lot of flat to minion builds with various things, so I, there might be something there. I just am not the person to find that. Um, obviously, uh, totems, it makes sense, or even something like a ball lightning totems static. You get a double whammy there, because ball lightning's duration, totems duration, etc. But yeah, uh, I guess I just wanted to have my closing thoughts on that, that there are other places where this makes sense to use besides the one that I discussed the most. And I would say good luck finding them. And I bet it's going to be a lot of damage. It might be a little clunky, but it's going to be a lot of damage. <laughs> See ya.